Hey guys, what is up? This is Harry and welcome back to another video. As you may already know, I recently purchased a new smartphone, the S20 FE 5G by Samsung. I made a dedicated video on it as well where I showed why I bought this particular phone in late 2022 rather than going for any newer model. Do check out that video if you haven't done so already. In this video, however, we'll be taking a closer look at the gaming capabilities of this phone, specifically when connected to Samsung DeX. One of my biggest reasons for buying this phone was for playing emulated games on a bigger screen. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now there are a few options available when starting Samsung DeX with this phone. I can either connect the phone to any laptop and start Samsung DeX on it. All I need is the already provided charging cable that I got with the phone itself since I prefer wired connections over wireless as that reduces any lags or latency. By the way, this phone also supports wireless Samsung DeX connectivity with a PC or a TV. The other thing I need is the Samsung DeX application which needs to be installed on the laptop before connecting the phone. And the last thing needed is any wired or wireless gamepad of my choice and I'm good to go. I'm gonna be using my go-to gamepad here which is the Cosmic Byte Aries wireless controller. I made a few videos on this gamepad as well in case you are interested. Since this laptop is mostly going to be used for work and personal reasons, I'm going to be using an external monitor for my permanent Samsung DeX setup. So almost any external monitor or even a TV that you may have can be used for this purpose. I'll be using this pair full HD monitor that has been lying around collecting dust for quite some time now. And apart from this monitor, my phone, its charging cable and my gamepad, there are still a couple of things that we need to get this thing fully functional. First, we need a HDMI cable to connect to our monitor. This premium quality HDMI cable supports up to 4K at 60Hz, though we may just need 1080p in this case. As always, I'll be mentioning the direct purchase links to this and everything else I'll be using in this video down in the description below in case you want to check them out for your own DeX setup. And if your monitor supports a VGA port instead of a HDMI port, then you can always use this HDMI to VGA adapter instead. And apart from that, we need a USB-C hub dock to complete the connection. Here I've got one from Pybox India that I highly recommend as I really love the quality of their products. You can use any other USB dock as well that you may already own. This one has a HDMI output port supporting up to 4K at 30Hz at one end and a Type-C input cable at the other end that will connect to my phone. And it has several other very useful ports as well. It has memory card slots both for SD and micro SD cards if you wish to transfer or view files from something like a DSLR. Adding to this phone's already included expandable memory options supporting up to an additional 1TB. Using this hub, we can now expand it even further if need be. It also has two USB Type-A ports, one of which is 3.0 and the other 2.0 to connect external storage devices or even accessories such as a gamepad or even a wireless mouse keyboard combo, which by the way I'll be using in this setup as well. It's always convenient to use a keyboard and a mouse in these sort of setups to get the full experience out of them. And it also has two USB Type-C ports. One of them is a 2.0 port which again can be used to connect external peripheral devices such as another gamepad for some multiplayer gaming with your family and friends which by the way is also possible with the S20 FE 5G. While the other one is a 3.0 power delivery port that can be used to charge up my phone while it's running Samsung DeX because that does drain the battery of the phone quite substantially. Do keep in mind that this port does not provide fast charging when connected. It will keep charging the phone very slowly while Samsung DeX is running. And no, it does not harm the phone's performance and nor does it heat up the phone due to excessive charging at any given time. None that I have experienced till now in the past several weeks anyway. By the way, in the box I got a few other items as well apart from the USB hub, a small carrying pouch and a plastic phone stand. I really love the packaging of this device to be honest. Now apart from all of these things, there are a few optional things as well that I'll be including in order to complete my deck setup. First of all, this premium quality, lightweight, wired mobile phone cooler known as IceDot by Spinbot, which uses semiconductor technology to lower the temperature of the phone almost instantly while you're gaming. It has the preferred USB Type-C port at the bottom and even a tripod option at the top where you can connect something like a small light perhaps which would be quite useful while streaming games on different platforms. At the back it has cool looking RGB lights along with a high speed yet silent fan behind this ventilation grid all of which turns on as soon as you press the on off button.
This fan will certainly help my phone in reducing any sort of lags or frame drops during long gaming sessions due to any excessive heating. Apart from this cooler in the box, we also get a USB Type-C to Type-A cable and a carrying box, which I must say is an awesome addition here. And since after connecting this cooler, we cannot really keep the phone on just any phone stand, I had to buy two more things for it. One of which is this foldable and highly adjustable metallic phone holder which can also support tablets by the way. And the other is this L-shaped Type-C cable since the one provided out of the cooler box does not really fit in this setup. I did have the option to lay the phone upside down, however I prefer using the phone even while running Samsung DeX. And the last optional thing is some sort of external speakers, headphones or earphones whichever you prefer to connect to your phone. Here I'll be using my trusted portable Bluetooth speaker the Tribit X Sound Go which I've been using for more than 2 years now. I even made a dedicated long term review video on this in case you are interested. Once we have everything set up all we need to do now is to connect the phone to the USB hub. It usually starts with the phone's screen mirrored directly on the bigger screen. If DeX does not automatically start, simply swipe down on your phone screen and select the DeX option and Samsung DeX will start immediately. So right now I can use Samsung DeX on the big monitor while continuing to use my Android phone as well. On the big screen we can easily change the resolution if we want. Here I've set it up to full HD. Now here as well we get the multi window support just like we get in Windows laptops or PCs. This is a great way of getting more work done without having to switch between different applications again and again. We can even watch OTT content from Netflix, Disney Hotstar or even YouTube and enjoy movies or videos on the bigger screen. I won't be covering much of Samsung DeX features as there are plenty of other videos already available on YouTube. To sum up the features, these are just fantastic in my opinion and Samsung DeX has been getting improvements when it comes to its user interface and its overall system performance. For the purpose of this video, I'll be playing some games starting with native Android games. Let's start with Asphalt 9 here. As you can see the game loads up and goes full screen without a problem and looks really good on a bigger screen as well. Everything works seamlessly which is always welcome as we cannot really enjoy playing games if a lot of issues or hassles are involved. So as you may already know, not all native Android games support Bluetooth controllers. For those games that do, you can easily pair your controllers just like I have. You can even use some mapping software to map the keys of your controller to the game and enjoy playing games like Apex Legends or even Call of Duty Mobile. I've made one such video in the past if you are interested in mapping your gamepad's keys in a particular game. But since there are very few great native Android games, let's move over to some emulation now. Now this is the area where Samsung DeX really shines when it comes to gaming. Everything looks fantastic on the bigger screen with close to no lags with just the right settings. Here I'm playing a PlayStation 1 game using the Duck Station emulator at 1080p and 5x resolution. Moving over to PlayStation 2, here we are using the EtherSX2 emulator, upscaled to 2x and again the game looks amazing without any noticeable lags or distortions. Let's move over to PSP using the PPSSPP emulator, easily upscaled to 5x resolution using Welcome. I was even able to get GTA Vice City stories working smoothly at 10x resolution. Ok now let's move over to some Sega Dreamcast games using the ReDream emulator. And as you can see everything runs pretty smooth and we are getting full speed. So running Dreamcast games on the S20 FE 5G is not an issue whatsoever.
Same goes for Sega Genesis games, they run smoothly as intended. Now let's move over to Nintendo games which is my favorite out of the three. Here we can see games of different Nintendo consoles running perfectly on the Retro Arch emulator which in my opinion is the best emulator out there. It lets us run loads of different console games mostly without any sort of hiccups. Even the low performance Nintendo consoles run perfectly fine in this emulator. And for games like this one where a touch input is required at certain places, I can use my mouse instead even if I do not have a touch screen while using Samsung DeX, which by the way are also supported. Alright, now let's finally move on to some heavier games from Nintendo, GameCube and Wii consoles. Here you'll start to notice the S20 FE 5G struggling a bit when it comes to gameplay. Here we are playing a GameCube game at 3x resolution and seems to be running just fine. However, there are some games that are not playable while many of them are on both these Nintendo consoles. And here we have a Nintendo Wii game running at 2x as it was not able to run smoothly at 3x. It is still struggling, however it is still playable and very much enjoyable. All in all, we are getting a great deal here as the S20 FE 5G even today is definitely gonna be a bang for your buck. I've been enjoying this phone and its capabilities ever since I bought it, be it for gaming or even for creating YouTube content. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Do let me know in the comment section below if you have any queries regarding this setup. Hope you found this video useful. Do hit the like button and subscribe button to support me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and take care. Thank you.